and that is skunk. So where turtle and armadillo give you the passive quality of these shells and this armoring of protection, skunk is the active principle. And what do skunks know how to do? You guys have skunks here? Well, what the skunk does is he has these glands on, at, the, at his rear, and they can, he'll put up his tail. That's a warning what he's doing right there. It's like, hello, it smells back here. You want to back off, and if you don't, I'm going to spray this oily stuff on you, and it really smells, and it's really hard to get off, and it's really nasty, so back off. So what skunks know how to do is to act to protect themselves. It's active. Turtle and armadillo are just walking around with it all the time. Skunk knows how to act to protect oneself. And this is a really, I want to take a few minutes and talk about skunks. It's got a couple of really important applications. So the first is, it's really good for people who don't know how to stand up for themselves, who don't, you know, who, who let themselves be mistreated because they just don't know how to stand up and say no. It's really good for people who who are constantly feeling like they're being targeted by the world, that they're walking around in a state of vulnerability. And, and this is usually because they just don't know how to, protect, to act, to protect themselves, to change their behavior. They don't realize their, their behavior is what's contributing to their feelings of victimization. They don't realize they have the power to change their behavior. And the number one thing they have to do is act in their own self-interest in order to protect themselves, to leave the environment that's causing them that crisis or stress, to change the relationship, to change the job, to move, whatever is required. It's, it's an action is required. Uh, to change one's circumstances. And skunk can help one to connect with the ability to act, to, do, to make those changes, to act to protect oneself. The most interesting case study I've ever heard about skunk came come from Italy, a practitioner in Italy, who was working with a 13-year-old boy who had a terrible autoimmune illness. And it was a bruising illness, so if he would just get a bump, he would bruise up and it would get big and it wouldn't go away for, for weeks and weeks. And so he's walking around literally kind of immobilized by life because literally he can't touch, have anything touch him without major bruising. And this had gone going on for years. They'd been to all the specialists in Italy and everybody was saying, there's nothing we can do, there's nothing we can do. And the boy's mother was saying, let's keep trying specialists. And the father said, no, 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 enough of this doctor stuff. We're going to try something totally different. And he took the boy to uh, this essence practitioner in Italy. And she had all the animals out, and she talked to the boy. And then she said, I want you to pick your own essence. I want you to pick. Just look at them, and you know what you need. You pick it. And if you want more than one, that's fine. You go and pick what you want. And he looked at them, and he went right for skunk. And he took the skunk, and within two weeks, he was 50% better. And within two months, he was 70% better. And most importantly, he immediately, on taking the essence, began to speak up to his mother, who he'd always been cowering from, this really controlling woman. And he felt no power. And he started to act to protect himself. And his illness is totally tied up in this, in his, you know, yeah, in the, exactly, in the family dynamics, in his controlling, manipulative mother. And he started, he told, his father was saying, it's unbelievable, the kid is different. He's claiming his power as a, as a man, as a young, evolving man, and especially telling his mother to leave him alone and back off. And he's getting better. So that's a testament to the gift of, that is skunk. Skunk, and also notice the physical and the emotional are not separate there. They're totally interrelated, as they often are. So skunk helps us to find the ability within ourselves to really protect ourselves, to stand up for ourselves and move forward. Another one we found, and I have to thank Gabriel, my son, for this, because I told you how he can see what essences are needed. And what we found uh, is that often when people are getting sick, like colds and flus and stuff, skunk is one he always says, skunk, skunk, skunk. Skunk is, helps you to fight off 
infection. Okay, so uh, last week at we, after we got back from um, Montana, we all started this family little cold thing started going around, and it looked like it could have gotten a lot worse. But we t we all took skunk, and it definitely helps the immune system to fight off to act against the invader. And it's my belief that if there's one essence in the line that can help people with autoimmune stuff, like AIDS and other things where the, bottom's where the body is literally attacking itself, it's skunk. It says, no, I'm here. I'm going to protect what is, what need, that which needs protection, I am acting to protect now. Can I ask a question? Yeah. I, I love that. I really get what you're saying about the skunk. But there are, and there are some people who uh, may have the ability to protect themselves, but actually don't have the discernment of recognizing when they need to activate. Good, exactly. So, very good. Ex so skunk would be for Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Bully children, absolutely. Yep.